Hello and welcome to Aspect. Uh, this week we are meeting with the organisers of Buzzcut Festival. Now in its second year, Buzzcut is a five day event for performance art, running from the 27th to the 31st of March, with over 50 performances within the Trongate and Mary Hill areas of Glasgow. Now I met with Nick and Rosanna to discuss their reasons for putting on the festival and what they wanted to achieve with it. So we can join them now around their kitchen table for the interview. The reason that we, we come to talk to you today is, is to go over Buzzcut, which is a, a festival that you guys curate. Um, and I just wanted to, to understand, like, how did you guys start that up? What was the need that you felt that you had to start your own project? Mm. Um, well, it started about a year ago, didn't it? I, um, on graduating, I had received this award, um, which meant I was going to be making a new piece of work um, for a festival called New Territories. And then... Um, it actually happened that that festival couldn't couldn't happen in the end. So I was in that feeling feeling a bit lost, having graduated, and I had something I was working on, and then I didn't have that anymore. And and I think um, kind of chatting to a few of our peers in Glasgow, there was a feeling people were feeling this loss and wondering what where the Glasgow performance community was going. And and so we were just in my flat one morning. Um, we just watched The Young Apprentice, which you just started watching it again. I remember yeah. that this morning. <laughs> obviously the most inspiring program in the world uh, and and we just kind of thought well what what have we tried to put on a festival um, yeah. because we're yeah. you know we're artists and we're looking for opportunities and and so what if there aren't opportunities can we create opportunities yeah, yeah. for other artists um, and and it just kind of started from there and snowboard really isn't it yeah and and we, we were pretty like um humble or, or yeah. realistic like with when we started and we thought like well let's we'd, we'd done one thing like or like someone had done one thing at one of the venues which is the old hairdressers um, uh -huh. and just that day we just decided well let's go down and like phone them and say can we have can, can we have a meeting mm -hmm. and as we walked there we were kind of just joking and making uh, about about what we could call it yeah. and we just call it I don't know like should we call it I don't know mohawk or uh, <laughs> mullet you know and then Buzz, and then we you know this was just a joke that yeah, we, yeah. and then Buzzcut came and with all names you feel a bit weird at first but then, yeah. but then it stuck yeah. uh, we were just going to do three nights at first and have um, local uh, or like Scottish based work um, mm -hmm. and and it was really just going to be it was going to be that and that would have been yeah, great yeah, that would have yeah, been yeah. that would have been lovely uh, and totally amazing like you know we, we would have had a great time mm. and then just gradually everything snowballed and we allowed ourselves to be ambitious i think as well well i think it was after we put out our call out for applications mm. we um we put it out kind of net via networks locally and also mm -hmm. um this kind of national mailing list for live art mm -hmm. and we just were getting so many applications <clears throat> so many more than we thought we'd get from mm. lots of people that we didn't know which was really really exciting and also kind of showed to us that there's lots of people out there looking for these opportunities to, to come and show work yeah. as well even though we weren't offering any money or anything no. people felt like they wanted to come and be a part of this festival which was an opportunity to show some work and and meet some new people so as soon as we were getting more applications we were thinking well how can we put more work on uh, yeah. and, th and then we decided to spread it and also spread it to the glue factory as well which mm -hmm. is an amazing new space in Glasgow and it allowed us to program more durational work um, yeah. and installations and one-on-ones and things like that which which is really good and, and we totally want to be able to program a, a kind of a, a range of work rather than mm -hmm. just having things like performances yeah. that you go into so it kind of also felt like um artists were being really generous with their work and yeah. and their money basically yeah, because yeah, they yeah. felt like they wanted to come to glasgow because of the reasons that buzzcut was starting it was about you know what can we what can we just what can we just do uh, how, how can it happen uh, and without looking uh, for for it to be received in some way um, and so I think we probably saw that generosity and felt that we sh that we wanted to meet it as well by making it as big as possible and for it to be a really um, exciting five days yeah so what, what we ended up with was five days um, we had three nights at the old hairdressers followed by a whole day at the old hairdressers on the yeah. Saturday and then a day at the glue factory mm -hmm. uh, on the Sunday and we had all in all the, about 60 artists in the program but some of those were represented through film work uh, mm -hmm. but a lot of them were live performances and installations and it was a kind of 50-50 split between mm -hmm. people travelling from elsewhere in Britain mm -hmm. and Scottish-based 
artists. So it felt it felt big and it felt full. And we had we had um, a range of artists as well in terms of how long they've been practicing for, which was really exciting. Um, and and then also in the, like within the program, we were like uh, intent on. Uh, not not portraying or not indulging in any hierarchy of, of who whose work would go last on a day, for example. Yeah. So like those, uh, so there weren't any headliners as such. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like this is uh, it was this work. This, all yeah, all of this work can exist alongside each other, and, and that's really important mm -hmm. that it does. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I guess a big um, question that, that came up for us during the planning was if we're not offering anyone. Any money for this? Then, then what can we offer? What what do artists actually need when they're coming somewhere? And and yeah. audiences, and what do we all need that isn't perhaps based on money? So, yeah. uh, and we were thinking a lot about community and, and how to build this community during the festival, which is a huge question for us this year as well. Um, and so we had artists that were coming up. They were staying with Glasgow-based yeah. artists, which was a really nice thing. And, and, we, and volunteers and other people who yeah, are artists yeah, who were yeah. very involved in the festival. Yeah, yeah. so it's people kind of sharing their homes and, and that's a great way to get to know a city mm -hmm. as well if it's the same as someone who's living there. Uh, and also we had a soup kitchen mm -hmm. every day so that anyone involved in the festival could come uh, and eat free soup yeah, in the yeah. afternoon. Do you, do you feel like there was a nice balance between the effort the artists were putting in and what they were getting out of it? Because there wasn't really any money. Mm -hmm. Instead of um, putting the money into tra uh, helping with travel or fees, it was yeah. like, okay, for, for the time that you're here, how can we best place that money to make your experience really great yeah. at, this, yeah. at this festival, make you feel welcome, mm -hmm. make you feel supported, make sure your work is documented and, um, and that you're fed and warm and there's like, oh, not always warm because the glue factory is pretty cold. <laughs> so it, it, is there other sort of less tangible sort of things, were there particular artists that um, came out of the first uh, Buzz got like quite successfully. Did that? Did somebody? Were there some real success stories? Did anybody go away with it with something that got picked up by somebody else later on or stuff like that? Did we here uh, and we're in conversation with with <laughs> loads of the artists who who were there and um, I think we're always hearing and we always know about <laughs> what other what other people are doing and they're all following their own trajectories and doing and doing great things. You know, we worked with. Uh, some of the works in progresses mm -hmm. uh, and took them to the Edinburgh Fringe mm -hmm. um, because we felt like um, to take the works in progress and then give it another platform yeah. would hopefully be, well it was intended to, to be the type of supportive platform mm -hmm. that is continuous that, that we felt was really yeah. important. So yeah, so for the, so those, I don't know, four of those out of Murray Wason, Andrew Houston who are both Glasgow-based, and uh, Louise Orwin and Richard de Dominici, who are both London-based. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an opportunity for them to develop their work for another platform, mm -hmm. which we also take a step back from, you know, yeah, like yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we try to set up uh, creative partnerships mm -hmm. for those people, particularly like those in, in London, because we're not going to going to no. be there. We don't, we, but we don't take a hands-on role of, you know, no, like, no. Uh, and which, so I think that's why we would never call ourselves producers, because yeah. maybe a producer would... would well, you're not trying to mould any artist to sort no. of fit certain outcomes. You're, no. you're, I mean, do you, do you think that by creating the platform and giving people something that, like, do you think that putting Buzzcut on your CV is actually, like, something that's actually helped artists, you know, do you think that you've created something that's actually got enough profile? Because it's, like a collective artist project mm. um, and it gives a title to something that might be in other words like a loose work like somebody's you know six months of somebody's work being able to attach buzz cut to that saying well this is where it went through and what this is what the process do you think that's benefited and actually sort of like a like a brand or like a, a gold star sort of well idea. i i'd like to think so i mean obviously it was just the first year people said that you know down in london people mm -hmm. had heard about buzz cut and i think hopefully its reputation is growing with the different events we put on and different mm -hmm. people that we speak to and we were down at spill festival in ipswich at the beginning of the month and <clears throat> people from the live art development agency they kind of heard about buzz cut and stuff so i yeah. hope that um it, it does have that positive Reputation and that if um, and that it is a good thing for artists to say that they've come and been been a part of. Um, mm. As long as we and our responsibility is that we are always going to develop it to, uh, regardless of its reputation outside, to make yeah. it really really great for the artists at the time. Um, 
but also remembering that Buzzka is that we want it to be part of an, a network of mm -hmm. platforms uh -huh. uh, and not and uh, we have no kind of uh well we will never push to have like uh to be the absolute best one so that other ones are like less valued or in yeah, any yeah, way yeah, it's yeah. like Buzzka is part of a network of yeah. platforms <coughs> which is a which where well, there are loads of brilliant mm -hmm. ones and there always should be and there should be more mm -hmm. and uh and it because it offers the opportunity for artists to be showing their work so so whilst we always want to work hard to make it brilliant, it is really, uh, it's not about being like yeah, separate. Yeah, well, so how do you feel the state of the sort of um, the ecology, if you will, of performance art at the moment? Do you feel like there's enough little groups of people like yourselves doing something that gives people a platform? Do you think there are enough platforms going on? Is there a strong sort of connection between those platforms? And is, is there a sort of groundswell of artists coming through? Do you feel like that, that things are in a positive state at the moment? I feel both positive and positively and negatively about it. I think um, I think over the past year since doing Buzzcut last year, the different events that we've been at and different people we've spoken to, we have met other people who are doing things like this. We've met some people based in Ireland, um, some people who are based in Leeds, and we've been told about other people that are doing things. Mm -hmm. I feel like as an artist, I'm not always hearing about loads of opportunities. Um, mm -hmm to go and to do stuff, particularly in Scotland, um, and and uh, so I think, let's have more, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. always, but I, I think this um, thing about a network between these people who mm -hmm. are kind of working at the same level as us is really important, and Katie Baird, who works at Live Art Development Agency, was saying to me, oh, you know, maybe we should set up some kind of network between mm -hmm. you and you can help each other, and, and Shona Manson, who's from the Jared Charitable Trust, mm -hmm. has said, oh, we should be asking these people for advice, and you know, what we do is always about sharing and about looking to each other for support. Mm -hmm. So we've had this idea that perhaps at this next uh, Buzzcut Festival we can have some kind of event which is for um, other uh, artists or, you know, kind of young producers working like us who are, who are trying to put on events in different places in the country mm -hmm. and look at how we could be supporting each other better and yeah. how we can um share share advice and and yeah and let each other know about what's happening and then we could be passing it on to all of our networks and things like that so i think there's yeah i think you have to kind of go out there and find it a bit uh -huh. we, you know we've been going to lots of different places and meeting these people and i'm wondering how we can perhaps be some kind of link in scotland where we can let other people in scotland know about the things that are going on elsewhere in britain mm -hmm. I really admire Nick and Rosanna's approach. Uh, they look at Buzzcut as artists, not producers, trying to deliver the best possible outcome uh, for the artists involved with the minimal resources that they have. If you want more information on Buzzcut, you can find it on their WordPress, and you can also follow them on Twitter and Facebook. If you want to watch the full interview, uh, the link should be about here, and Aspect will be back in two weeks. So um, if you want to be kept up to date, subscribe to the channel, Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.